Good morning, Suzuki community. It's good to uh, talk to you again. We've been a little busy, so we haven't made any videos for a while. This one's going to be about Suzuki Samurai rear bumpers, and I'm going to introduce you to my favorite Blue Jig. We've made about 500 rear bumpers on this puppy, and they uh, come out real nice, and they always bolt on. We're going to start with a finished shell. These uh, come as flats from Minnesota. They get delivered to Arizona, and then they get bent on a 100-ton press. This one's already been welded up and sanded, so we're going to make an LED bumper for you right now and show you how uh, we make it and how you bolt it on. Let's get into that. Before we begin, I, uh, you know, the welding, I want to show you these uh, squares right here. Uh, you've got a big square and a small square. It comes with all of our bumpers. Uh, we provide half inch grade eight hardware. And you'll notice in the back of your frame here, you've got a big opening and a small opening. And this is where you're just going to simply bolt our bumper onto the bottom. Anything here in the middle, we've cut it off. We'll get you a close-up of that before we're finished today. But we've simply cut off the license plate bracket. We've unbolted all of the brackets for the stock rear bumper. So as you can see here, this is what it should be looking like uh, when you bolt on your rear bumper. So we'll talk about that after we're finished. Let's go! <laughs> Samurai, you're going to unbolt it. The very best way to do that is to take the rubber and peel the rubber off so you can get the 14 millimeter wrench on it. When you have it, you're going to pull the rubber off, but this washer is usually captive, it won't come off. 
And what we provide with every bumper are a 7 16 lock washer and washer for grade A. And then you're going to go through our top tabs and bolt that into the nut that's welded into the frame. Now, if you have a heavy like tire carrier and you're carrying a lot of weight, we make a lot of tire carriers. If this bolt strips out because it's not the best bolt, we recommend that you drill this out and tap it for a 7 16 20 minimum, maybe even up to a half inch. The nut's welded in the frame, so you drill it out, tap it the right hole, and then you can make a better bolt up here. And of course that happens if you're on a lot of bouncy roads and you have a heavy tire carrier. That's just something that we don't give you the uh, tap and drill for, but that's how you do it. So again, you're going to get this hardware with each bumper. You're going to be getting the four bottom bolts with each bumper. And that's for the LED and the stock. Now the stock lights, you're going to use the screws from your existing lights to put those screws back into our stock style bumpers. And then of course if you have a tire carrier, um, we're going to show that in another video. So that's it for our rear Samurai rear bumper instructions. They're really pretty simple. Uh, just remember you want to cut this off and this is where your old license plate brackets you want to unbolt all of the little brackets underneath here for a stock style rear bumper. Thanks for watching our videos. I always appreciate your business. Have a great day and God bless you.